unit conversion. So what are they? Converting one set of unit to another, meters to centimeters and vice versa, using rates of conversion correctly. And how are they tested? Usually they're tested within another major question. So for example, um, not in here because, <coughs> excuse me, all the units are the same, but let's say, Oh yes, so here a millimetre is one thousandth of a metre, so a milli year would be one thousandth of the year, a length of milli year would be closer to whatever down here. We've also got things like um, okay, kilograms, so they're all talking about kilograms and that's fine. Um, let's see where else. Okay. Jay's videotape machine can rewind a videotape 20 times fast as it takes to play a tape. How long will it take Jay to completely rewind a videotape that takes four hours to play? Okay, and you've got minutes here and you've got hours here. So we'll do that question shortly, but that's an example of um, how they test unit conversions. Okay, so it's within another major question or the provision of a rate of conversion and using it successfully to find um, the answer and for example one of those questions is here so um, where they provide you with a unit and then they ask you to change to find the answer would be in somewhere like this one here so question 15 a milli year a millimeter is a thousandth of a meter so a milli year would be one thousand one thousandth of a year okay so that's where um, these are the sort of unit type questions. Um, let's see what they require us to do, okay? So, let's move on. Unit conversions, so usually it's multiply up or down um, and they're common rates of units. So, millimeter is usually um, 10 centimeters. Sorry, um, t millimeter is usually 10 centimeters. Centimeter is 100, um, sorry, a meter is a hundred centimeters. Sorry, I'm mixing this up. So, one centimeter is equal to ten millimeters. One meter is equal to a um, hundred centimeters. One kilometer is equal to one thousand meters, and then one liter. And as it goes, um, this is actually supposed to be moved out the wrong way. So let me just change that. So if you want to get from a centimetre to a millimetre, so one centimetre times ten would be one, um, would be, um, let me see, would show you how many millimetres are in one centimetre, okay? Um, however, if you want to get to centimetres, if you've got ten millimetres and you want to know how many centimetres there are in ten millimetres, you then divide by ten and that would be 10 divided by 10 is 1. So 10 millimetres would equal 1 centimetre. Okay, so let me just save that. Um, so that's essentially what it is. It's just multiplying up or down, okay? Let's move on to the next question. Let's move on to the first practice question. But before that, I'd like to go through this. So Jay's videotape machine can rewind a videotape 20 times as fast as it takes to play the tape. How long will it take Jay to completely rewind a videotape that takes four hours to play? Again, a lot of information in these questions. What we need to do is we need to um, make it easy to follow. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, instead of content. Okay, Jay's videotape machine can rewind a videotape 20 times as fast as it takes to play the tape. Okay, as it takes to play the tape. Four hours to play this particular tape. Okay, so that's really important information. Let's look at... Um, Let's look at how we deal with this information. So it's asking how long would it take to rewind the videotape. Okay, we know that rewinding is 
20 times faster than playing. Okay? So you just multiply by 20 times faster. Okay? Than playing. Yep. Okay, we know that if something is four hours to play, what is 20 faster than that? How do we go about it? Okay, so we need to go about it in a very systematic way. So, would you be, which operation would you be using? Would you be using multiplication or division? If you multiply, you are going to get a longer time. Whereas if you divide, you get a shorter time. Yeah? So, which one would you use? In this case, you would use divide because we're saying it's 20 times faster. Okay? So therefore, if it's faster, it's going to reduce the time. Okay? So you're going to divide. Okay? So, let's see how we're going to go about it. The first thing before that is that it's four hours. The answers are in minutes. So we need to convert the units of hours to minutes. How many hours, how many minutes are there in one hour? There are 60. So we're moving into minutes. So you do four hours times 60 equals, how much would that be? Zero. 4 times 6 is 24, yeah, okay, you've got 24 minutes which equal 4 hours, sorry, 200, 240 minutes, therefore we need, what are we going to then divide by? You've got 240 minutes divided by 20. That's the only other information you're given, okay? And because you're saying it's 20 times as fast. So therefore, you're dividing 20, 240 And how much would that be? That would be, so if you use long division here, it would be 20 into, say, 2 times 12 is 24, is it not? So therefore, if we're 20 times 12 is 0, 24, right? So the answer would be 12 minutes. The other way you could figure this out is to go slowly. So 20 into 24 is 1, okay? So 12, if we're going to do the old division type, okay? Um, let's just do that. Twelve into twenty sorry. So twenty into twenty four it goes one time, right? And what is the remainder? You've got four as a remainder. So just say we'll just do it like this just so that we can isolate things out. So twenty into four goes two times. So you've got twelve minutes. Okay, so that's how you, the other way you can do it. With mathematics, there's so many ways in which you can do things. Um, oops. Uh oh. Um, it's now gone.
missing. Z. Anywho, um, we do understand that that's how we go about it. So with mathematics, there's so many ways that we can go about things. And um, as we showed there, we could either do the long division or we could just multiply up. But the answer in this case is B. which is 12 minutes. Okay, so that's how we go about this. Let's move on to the actual PowerPoint. So let's do this practice question for unit conversions and it's question one. You have one minute to complete this question and here it is. Paloma has made 2,100 milliliters of lemonade and adds 42.5 millilitres of carbonated water to fizz it up. Round it up by three decimal points. How much in total liquid volume is her fizzy lemonade? So I'll give you one minute to think about it and to come up with the answer. Okay, so let's move on to answering this question. So first things first, I always find out the facts. The facts are that 2,100 2, milliliters of lemonade, adding the same milliliters of carbonated to water to fizz it up. And you've got your answers in liters. Okay, so what do you need to do? We need to first address each individual part of the question. So let's do that. Round it up by three decimal points. How much in total liquid volume is her fizzy lemonade? Let's find the total liquid volume in milliliters first. So you've got 200 milliliters plus 42.5 milliliters is how much? It's 21 42.5 milliliters. Okay, because you're um, it's the same unit, so you just add it together. But now how do we change that into liters? Let's look at um, our unit conversions. So mill milliliters to liters it is dividing by 1000 so what we need to do is when you divide by 1000 the easiest way to do that is to move the decimal point how many zero by how many zeros there are there are three zeros right so this is dot point one this is where it would be if you were using that's one two there you are going to have to move it three decimal points okay from its original position which is here so your answer is one two point one four two five milliliters okay because we're moving it however the answer says three decimal points so therefore the answer would be two point one four because this number is 5 or above, we need to round the 2 up to a 3, okay? Your answer would therefore be D. Okay, and all these would therefore be incorrect. So that is how you would answer these unit conversions. Unit conversions are generally the type of answer, sorry, the type of question where you want to get this all correct in your exam because it means that um, they're really, I guess, once you know the rules with it, they're quite easy to get correct and they're also really um, sort of quick mark gainers within the exam. 
Okay, let's move on to the solution then. The solution says the answer is D, and I've demonstrated that. We know that it requires addition and the conversion of milliliters to liters. We need to know that 1000 milliliters equals 1 liter and you need to understand how to get from one to the other. Okay, you need to either multiply or divide by 1000. Okay, and moving the decimal points by how many zeros. Okay, in this case by thousands, if you're dividing, you'd be moving it in one direction. If you're multiplying, you'd be moving it in the other direction. Okay. Hi guys, if you like this lecture and you want more learning resources, go to www.examsuccess.com.au. We also have a special package where you can download cheat sheets for reading comprehension, mathematics and general ability to assist you in your exam prep preparation. These also include practice questions and you can download them for $6.99 at www.examsuccess.com.au.